Well, I've been out in the garage this afternoon and um, put some padding on on the um, pieces where the plane's going to sit when she's sat in it to be stored or to be stored. More than likely stored on the ground or something like that. Anyway, that's done now. I'll put back up another one. Today I'm up in my room. Let me show you a little story about why I've been breaking and smashing and bashing so many models. A few years ago, I my controller packed up and I didn't bother to get back into the RC plane. I come across the guy who tells me to buy this. And I did, it was a lovely little controller for 23 quid. I wasn't going to complain. Trouble was, it had a disc that had to go into the computer and you order all your models on the computer. Then I all my computers packed up on the Windows 10 and 11 now and it doesn't work. So I've had one, one um, receiver bound and I've had to use that one receiver with all the different models, but it'd be a two channel like this one, or three channel this one, or six like my glider. But the other day I thought I've had enough of it, I thought I'd gone out I bought this one. So for 40 quid I got this one and a six um six channel receiver with it. So for 40 quid, that that's a tenner. So I got this one for 30 quid and that can program all the models. So today I've been up here. I've just rebound this model and now I've got that in there permanent and I've weighed and balanced this model now every time I fly it the balance is going to be right because it's just the battery goes in comes out goes in comes out so no more crashing that little model now I've got to do the same with my big glider and my big plane and the other two models that I've got to finish preparing so anyway this is working lovely and I've got six receivers so I've got enough for every model's got its own. Mind you, uh, three of the, mod the other models are only four channel ones, and I've, they're all six channel ones. But so what, I've got two redundant channels on each one. And the big plane, oh, that I'll drop bombs, I can add all sorts on that. Anyway, that's today's episode. That's model one complete ready to fly. Before I go off this uh, today's work, I've still got this one screwed to the bench. That one is working fantastic now. But I've got two brilliant engines going. I've got another one I've got to get going, but there's no rush. I don't need this one yet. But um, I've only got the one glow plug, so I'm waiting for two new ones to come. This one got to be shared between this and the flying model. Anyway, finish my cup of tea and get back in, get another model in, and get it rebound to this new controller. Okay, so I've got two models programmed now. This one looks a state because this is the one I accidentally put the motor of his nap and cut the front off. But she flies, she's balanced, she, she flies perfect like that. Anyway, she's now got her own receiver tucked in and just a room for the battery to go there and she's balanced perfect. And what I have found out now is when you turn this receiver on, whatever mode it was in last time it is in, all these are four channel plus. Well, sorry, three. That one's um, four, got six of them. But when you turn it on, no matter what model number you pick, this is now dedicated model one, that's now model two. They will both fly on any mode, and I think it's gonna be the same with all my models. But now with this one, I've got aileron mixing with the rudder. So when I put the rudder on, it all might get um, aileron, uh, rudder coming with the ailerons. This model hasn't got it, but this model don't need it, so it'll fly perfectly well on number two setting. But if I got it on number one mode, the number one model, and I'm flying this, I'll be flying it, but it won't have the rudder unless I put input into it. So if I'm going to fly it without the rudder input, I fly it on mode one. If I want to fly it with the model, the mode, then I put it in mode two. But anyway, this is proven to be worth its weight in gold. I'm loving it. Three models to do. Okay, now I've now got this model. She's up and running, the throttle's working, everything's going. She's already been put back on the rack with her, with her um, wing. And um, all she needs to is her battery, which we've waited to go there. We know she's balanced perfect with it there. All that's a nice fix this in place where we plan for that to go. And she's all sorted, ready to go. Magic thing. Well, there you go, the um, receiver now is uh, velcroed in with a bit of tape to stop it wobbling and um, the wires are all taken in place the fuel reserve or filler is tucked away safe 
everything else is all safe and sound and she's um like a dream all i need to do now is make some markings up i got some tape i'm gonna cut some tape and put ps on the wings pete sam lira Lynx, in honor of my two dogs i miss me samuel and Lynx. just put the um initials on the wing that's in honor of my two dogs i lost that's me samuel lira and the Lynx. And it's a little Link, Lyra, because Lyra's still with me. But Lynx, I'm sure his spirit went into Lyra when I got rid of Puppy. And we call him now Lyra Lynx. We're flying on her then all the time, I love him so much. And when she is, she's all done. All ready to go. Tomorrow, she put some fuel in her. And then stir it up. And what I'll do tonight, I think we should get the, the fuel tank ready for filling it up tomorrow. Okay, there's my uh, easy rider. I've had that a few years now. And uh, he's been busted and repaired so many times. I want to put the new front on him up to here. I just tried with the motor and the battery. And I wasn't getting it balanced near about here. With the wings, the wings don't make no difference really to the balance in the jump way nothing. I couldn't get the balance anywhere near what I wanted. So I've added a bit more on the nose now. But I've got to run, it's gone off now. But um, I've got to take the tape off and round that off and get the shape of the body. And then I feel that I can balance that one and get the, the, the propeller on and, and she's ready to go. So there you go guys. With the, um, with the motor mounted there and that mounted there and 25% of the wing she's just a little bit too heavy just a little bit but by the time I've added the propeller and the um, firewall with the motor mount on that should bring her perfect so hopefully there's another guy running around ready get her finished tomorrow <coughs> As I said, I've sold an all new uh, bullet plugs onto the motor and now I'm getting a prop ready. These props are what I've had lying about here for 20 odd years and that is thicker than what that is. So I've just trimmed that down a fraction so as it goes in there. It's just a fraction too tight now. This one's okay. Right, away. Well, it is okay. That one's um, lucky enough to run um, to his job. But that one needs a little bit more of it and then tighten up together and we've got a new prop put in the engine. There you go. New power speed controller and the battery. It's half past nine gone now, quarter to ten, so we've had enough. We've been at it since about three o'clock this afternoon. So we've done quite a bit. Okay, here's my old easy glider. She's about Mm, 20 year old and been bashed and crashed and done some flying I'll tell you but uh, she's been in the cover for about a year or more but I've just rebuilt the front and I know it looks a mess but when it's up in the air it looks fantastic and that that uh, foam by the way is um, high density foam from washing machine packing but uh, any of you seen any of my old videos where I was making wings you'll see that when they're wrapped in polythene or in, in um, tape, <laughs> any sort of tape, it makes it so strong. There's one wing I built, you can see me jumping on there, smashing it and bashing it. It makes them impregnable. So this this trip life, brilliant. The balance is going to be spot on this time round. Anyway, let's get the motor cleared. Well, we've got the engine mounted now. And the, uh, the wires will feed back there to the receiver. Receiver and battery goes in there balanced and she's ready to fly this is only that all that the wings just clip go on no trouble anyway let's um get the finish off as you can see i've put a bit more tape on the uh towel to open the elevator i'll um i'm gonna finish this one i'm going to get a bit more of that red spray paint and uh touch her over because she's a nice little glider it flies really well it looks rough because it's been bashed and crashed and dead 
and your tablets are flying. Okay, so that's the towel fixed, everything's fixed, I had trouble with the speed controller, so I've been all bloody night sorting that out. We've got a new one in there now, and um, I'm going to back on. And the um, little cover that goes on, that just comes on and off, put the battery fits in there, that fits back on there. And as with the other one, I'll just take that around when I'm flying. But there she goes, she's all ready to fly. Just got to put the motor, the propeller on tomorrow and put her back in her box. With her wings. I've had this for about 20 years. And it's been flying. It's good. There's a funny story about it, I could tell you when we flew Cognell. I lost this. Two months later, the farmer came out and said, because I had another one similar to this, he said, I got one of them like that, this is my courage, he said. He said, well, I read one, he said, yeah. He said, that's ours, he said, come and pick it up. Two months after, we got it back, it was amazing. This afternoon, I just fitted the, um, the prop on, and uh, the canopy's finished now, and the battery's all in. And when it's on, the battery can't move, and it's balanced perfect. I've just done a test with the motor and the prop, and pointing up in the air, that thing wants to go up in the air straight up like a rocket. So it's got too much power. So one of my other models, now that I need one of these engines for, I'm going to take the engine like that off of my small model and put the small one I've got in the box on and the other one of these I'm going to use on the other, on the Radeon. So hopefully that's another model. And this keeps bleeping. I think it's just the battery's going for that. But the last one I've done quite longer on this one than what you do on the other one. Anyway, for 30 quid, I'm not moaning. Now she's back in her carrying bag, and she's ready to go to a site. Now I'll just hang her back up on the roof where she belongs. Okay, now you have my homemade um, thing. I've cut the battery thing out, put the own wires in. And now, eventually, these two bayonets are going to be fitted on there. And they go in there, and in there. And this here is adjustable to any voltage I want from the battery. So that'll be wired to underneath there. Saving money again. When it comes to spending money, I can duck out of that anytime I want. And this duck has helped me make I fill that up with fuel, it's dead easy. Low fuel. Now I put that into that port I showed you on the glider. And tip it upside down, squeeze it till I put up. Another money saving device. If I get back into glow planes big time, I'll buy all these bits. But when it suits me. For now, I'm saving money. And talk, talk about saving money. The next job is, I've only got one of these now. The other one that I had got damaged. But I've got four or five single cells. So what I'm going to do is join them together and make four cells. But, well, it'd be, it'd be one of these joined with another one of these. Be the same power output but double the volume so that's another one to save money okay so as i said i we blew out the other big battery i had two of these for the gliders with them i could play for a minimum of an hour that's catching through on mine well longer than that really but anyway i've only got the one battery now the other one was duff um and i got two of these they're identical batteries they both with the same charge they're both good batteries and i got a smaller one which is only two cell, but it's not as big. Sorry. No, there it is in the back. It's not as big as those. So now these two, what I've done to make them equivalent to this one, now those are basically equivalent to that one. I've made up this joiner. Those two plug onto there, I'll take the power off of there. That has turned those into basically one of these. And that, with that weight and that, that's slightly heavier than that, which is good because it means it'll make the glider a little bit more nose heavy. But anyway, I've got two batteries now to fly. So I can fly on the first battery as I always used to and land and, and just keep that one for testing the air. When it looked good, take off, land. Take off, land. If it got away, it got away, but in the end, if I put that on, I knew the situation, then I fly that and flatten it. 
and then go on. Anyway, but now we've got five model supplies, so we need more batteries and get it sorted out without spending money, if you know what I mean. So anyway, let's get on with it.